Hi everybody, this is Deb from D&D Art Gallery. How are you doing today? Today I have a 16 by 20, um, it's called Da Vinci Pro Panel Birchwood Painting Panel. And I'm going to be doing another resin pour painting. Pretty excited about it. And my paints today, my base coat is going to be Folk Art Metallic Pearl White and Amsterdam Azel Yellow Deep Amsterdam Grayish Blue and with the grayish blue I added some Blue Pearl Dry powder to it Amsterdam Violet Blue Permanent. And the last one is Liquitex Alzarin Crimson Hue. So let's get started. I'm going to put my base coat down. This has a little bit of a pearly appearance to it, so I thought that would look nice. need to give this a good good coat all, all over here and I will let it drip down the sides as I mentioned in previous videos these birchwood painting panels have a little lip on the side and I like to tape up to just underneath that lip and then let the paint run over the side of the canvas to cover up that lip. And as I also mentioned in previous videos, working with resin, resin is a thick, kind of sticky material. And you need to wear gloves for protection. Clean up is much easier if you wear gloves. And once I get this all spread out, I will tell you what resin I'm using today. And when working with resin, you have a little bit shorter working time before it starts to set up. This particular resin is called KS Resin. And the manufacturer suggests getting your project done in 20 to 25 minutes because it will start to set up and be a little bit harder to work with. And also, on mixing your paints, you want 10 parts of paint. I'm sorry, 10 parts of resin to one part of paint. You don't want to go over that one, one to 10 ratio because it will get very goopy and you won't be able to spread it. So that's why the 10 part resin to the one part paint. And I use a little scale to measure. I think it's important rather than just eyeballing it. I do, I do measure when I do resin paintings. Okay, just about done here. And I am going to run my hand along the edge here 
to make sure that I have that resin coating that lip. Usually it's not a big issue because once you start putting your colored paints down and using your um, your hot air gun, it softens up this resin and it will run over the sides. Okay, that looks pretty good. you the resin that I do use. I mentioned before KS resin it's called and it is a two-part resin that you mix together thoroughly and it's very clear. It's a very nice product. Easy to work with. Okay next I'll torch to get any air bubbles out. You don't want to get your torch too close because you can scorch your resin. So just keep your torch a little bit higher. Also, I'm going to use my heat gun now. This will soften up the resin. Hopefully you can see the resin move a little bit on the panel. formula to figure out how much paint or resin you need. Like I said, this was a 16 by 20 birch panel and you times that 16 by 20, you divide that by 28 and it came out to about 11.4. So I did put 11.5 uh, fluid ounces of the resin on this birch panel today. So let's get started with our colors. And this is the um, grayish blue. So I'm just going to layer these down. No particular order, just making an abstract painting here, so. And I do leave a little bit of the paint in my cup to go back later on if I need to add paint here or there. Next is the purple very very deep purple here very pretty
Sometimes, too, I just like to go back with that leftover paint and make very thin, streaky lines and then not heat it so much so they stay more of a solid line. This is the crimson. And last we have the Azo Yellow. I thought this yellow would give this painting a little bit of pop, this lighter color. Okay, so let's torch again. Get out some air bubbles. the heat gun.
Okay, let me take a look at it here a minute. See if I want to add a little more color here and there. I'll add a little more purple here. Maybe a little more blue up in here. Crimson, a little bit. Okay. I'm just going to run my finger along the edge here. Make sure that I have that covered. And if not, I'll just add it now. And I am going to tor just do a little more torch here one more time. Then I'll get you down for a close-up. I think it looks beautiful. It's just... I love, 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 love the colors in here. Now, when you do resin, you need to babysit your 
painting for a little while, you want to get down and really look at the whole painting to make sure you've got the air bubbles out, you don't have any debris in there, like a hair or if you could see some dust or just a glob of anything. You want to take that out before it sets up and dries. This will dry in 24 hours, I believe, 12 to 24 hours. To completely cure, it's seven days. Okay, let me get you down for a close up. have the upper left hand corner. This reminds me of a tie-dye t-shirt. Almost. And then the lower, lower left hand corner there. I like in here how that turned out. And that the white, you can't really see it too well on camera, but that white is very sparkly and shiny. Love the streaks of yellow. There, I got a little crazy with purple. That This is the lower right-hand corner here. And there's the upper right hand corner. So I have I have just so much fun doing these resin paintings. Let me know what you think. Give me a thumbs up or like, share, subscribe, and, and uh, ring the bell so you'll know the next time I do post a new video. Let me get you a close up here. And until next time, take care everybody. Bye.